Now you little dirty girl, Emika, listen to me good. Because the guys in here in Jamaica and YouTube, welcome back to my channel. And this is a Terrace House review. Now, <laughs> I know, yes, the video is late, but I was kind of disappointed with the fact that Netflix seemed to have forgotten the persons who watched Terrace House that don't speak Japanese fluently. And yeah, I was kind of disappointed by that. But anyways, not much really happened in this episode, although some interesting developments, but nothing major like the episode with Hannah going after Kai. Now, the first scene starts off with Rayo and Vivi talking downstairs. Uh, Rayo says good morning and she comes down the stairs. He was actually rehabilitating his knee. Vivi says she didn't remember why she came downstairs actually. And he uh, offered her some coffee. She said, yes, oh, that's why I came downstairs because I heard you make awesome coffee. Right. Apparently her doctor says she has low blood pressure and she needs to regulate it by drinking some coffee. I didn't know that, but Fine. Rio being a gentleman that he is offers to make it for her and she's obviously smitten by the fact that he's always taking care of her and she keeps mentioning that oh no one has ever really taken care of me before ever thought about me and been thoughtful about me Vivi get over your bloody damn self man jeez in addition to that Rio notices that something is off about her and she says yes I've been actually thinking about my future and actually if I should go to America and leave Japan but I have this fear of moving and that's preventing me from going anywhere or should I stay in Japan and work between Japan and America, etc. Et the exact same thing Dio was kind of grappling with with you to see if it would make sense to be in a relationship. Hmm, interesting much? In the next thing, Rayo and Shion are in the boys' room and they're just talking casually about stuff. Rayo is showing his surfboards and Shion asks him what was his first impression of the girls in the house. Obviously, he said Vivi, it's rare for him to find someone he's so comfortable with after two days and he's really impressed by Vivi. And Shion admits that he's constantly impressed by Vivi. So apparently, Shion has a thing for Vivi too? Okay, Shion, my boy, get in there, buddy, yo pal. And then Rayo, seems to be very grounded and mindful of other person's feelings said i'm not sure if i can talk about this because shacho is not here but you may you know wear something a very revealing camisole and i didn't know where to look i mean they make a big deal about human's breasts but i've, I've never I've, i'm not really I'm not really seeing the big deal but i guess what's normal for me is big for somebody else no i'm joking i don't know if it's timing or if it was eavesdropping or whatever she comes right into the room and offers Shion a birthday present with her, with her two books. My postcard read in English because Shion is studying English and this will help him to practice. In addition to this, she expresses her or her liking for museums and he said he should go. Shion says, okay, let's go to a museum and ask Vivi out right then and there. I'm like, all right, Shion, go those cojones, arriba. Go get your Russian gal. Yume and Hana return from their respective trips and are in the room now with Vivi. At this point, Yume reveals to everybody, to my shock and dismay, to my shock and dismay, I'm lying. Yume reveals to the girls and to us that Chacho asked her out and they're going to hang out in Hokkaido, an overnight trip. Well, for somebody you don't like Yume or you're not into, it seems like you're spending a lot of overnight trips with them. So I don't know if you want to tell us what is going on, you man. But it seems to me that you're into Shacho. <laughs> At this point, a lot of like Hannah, Hannah is me. Like, what if he tries to kiss you again? What's going on? What will happen? No, that will happen, you may say. And I'm like, you may, on your CV, I'm not quite seeing where you're clairvoyant. I'm not seeing it here on the, is it on page two? Because you are telling me that Shacho is going to take you to Hokkaido. Are you going to go on a trip to Hokkaido by yourself with Shacho overnight? And that man is not going to try and get some honey out of the pot. Him not try to sample the sushi. Him not going to see if the rice wet. My girl, are you serious? You may, you may, you may alright to be good? Is Yume okay? I don't think so. I feel that Yume is just trying to, as the commentator said, pass off the blame onto Shacha and not accept responsibility. She says she can't help being resisted and in the past she has made bad decisions because of being pressured or coerced. And Shacha doesn't look like he's a guy that is going to back down. Anyways, Hannah then says, so alright, you're going to go with him. So what's going to be the deal? Like if he doesn't confess his feelings to you, what will happen? She's like, well, I don't know. It depends on the feeling and the time. But if he tries to kiss you or hold hands, I don't know. I don't know. Yume, oh, please. But anyways, Yume, I mean, apparently can't resist being pursued. But hey, ah, I'm saying, Yume, I know. Saiki no ne, I know. Orega ne, I know. Yume no koto ga suki. To omoimasu. Demo sa, I know. Itsu ka isha ni nomimasen ka? Nomi ni iko? 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 Somebody who has Yume's Instagram, please take this clip and send it to her. Because maybe I stand a chance. Because, shoot the shot from the freaking parking!
Absolutely not. Piggles the guy in with a shot. Oh, it's hit the. It's it's not even in the game. All right, yeah. Cut, cut, cut that out. After this, the girls come downstairs, and it's uh, it's in February, so it's around Setsuban, which is around February third in Japan. That's a bean throwing day, where the Japanese throw roasted beans in inside or around their house to ward off demons and to invite good luck into their homes. So the saying is Oniwa Soto, which is demons outside. Fukuwa Uchi, good luck, good luck inside. So basically, that's a more you know moment about Japan. So the guys put on their masks as demons, and the girls are throwing the beans at them. Oniwa Soto, Oniwa Yara, kawaii, kawaii. Yada, kimai, eh, all that stuff. And I didn't have to ask who was Toshiyuki. Although his height gives the way, there's something he did that just said to me, this man is a creep. <laughs> <laughs> Toshiyuki has his ab wheel. I don't know what's his obsession with abs. He's rolling the ab wheel with the mask on, and Hannah is at the front and she's wearing a skirt. Now, to me, to the untrained eye, not knowing what that is, I thought he was trying to get a look under Hannah's skirt. But I should know better because he only has eyes for Yume. So if Yume was wearing a skirt, he'd be all up under there, like, oh, I know, I'm kiddo. Toshiyuki, na. <laughs> right, but maybe I'm overthinking it. After this scene now, Shacho says that, I think the particular sushi roll, which is special for Setsubun, let's say Tamaki or something like that. Shacho says he has to wake up early, so he wants to go to the playroom to hang out with Yume. I'm not understanding the logic, but okay. Everybody says, okay, I guess that's something you, have, you got to do. And they end up going up to the playroom and they're talking and they finalize the plans for Hokkaido and the days and what they want to do. They then decide to watch Terrace House. The episode that they're watching is the episode with... Dio and Vivi kiss it. And let me tell you, it looked like something out of a porno. And he was like, oh my, yeah, bye. They did it right here in this spot. Right here, Yume. They kissed right here. Wink, wink, wink. Like he was trying to suddenly say, hey, Yume, we can do it now. And it was really intense, even watching from again. And nothing happened. They said goodnight, hugged them, went home. The next morning, Shacho showed his gentleman this side. Shacho is already downstairs up, made some tea for Yume. He offers to drop her to work. And they further confirm the plans for Hokkaido and the days. And he gives her a high five while they're leaving. And I'm like, this man is already acting like he's a boyfriend and nothing has been established. They haven't really, they've only, only ever been on a date one-on-one -on -one once. So I mean, I don't know if that's something that you guys want to think about. Oh, I just remember, while they were talking in the playroom, there was nice back and forth banter. And Shacho says he's going to, he has been holding back in terms of drinking. And she's like, what? Yeah, I'm going to unleash the beast. Now, if Shacho has been holding back himself thus far, I don't want to see an unrestrained Toshiyuki. Nino, what? <laughs> Oh, I need to, I want to see, actually, scratch that. I need to see that. I need to see an unleashed Hoshiyuki out in these streets. Whoo, it's going to be hilarious. Pua! Next scene, Ryo and Shion end up going to get something to eat together at Izakaya. Ryo asks Shion to stop addressing him formally because they're brothers and they're close, so there's no need for the whole keigo, which is the formal, formal type of Japanese. Shion seeks advice from Ryo in terms of pursuing careers and goals and what he should do going forward, and also seeks relationship advice on how he should approach girls, which is really nice to see, you know, endearment and bonding and that sort of thing. They also speak about the possibilities of all three men in the house liking the same girl. And Rio says the decision is ultimately up to her, which is right. You know, the girl gets to decide who she wants to date. But obviously there's a bro code and stuff. So she actually says, you know, he, he can see the fact that Shacho would complain about all of this and like, oh, you really asked her out, that sort of thing. And Rio says, yes, I could see that. And you know, Shion also makes observation that he's acting like he's already the boyfriend and no one else stands a chance, which is not exactly the case. Ryo also then asks a pertinent question to Shion, like who are you really into? Shion reveals that he's kind of into Vivi, especially after receiving a gift because receiving gifts is his love language. Ryo says he's into Vivi as well, but he's not sure exactly yet how it will play out in the future. Ryo says he is into Vivi, but he's not set on her because you never know who might leave the house at, in, at what, what time. So yeah, I guess he's just trying to make sure he has his options open there. Next day, Rio and Shion are talking in the dining room at the house and they're saying they should invite Shacho to dinner, get him drunk and get him to talk and reveal stuff. Vivi joins later and asks the guys what are they doing for the day, what are their plans? Shion says he has a workshop in the workshop all day. Vivi says she has something to do in the evening but in the day she's free. Rio has the same schedule lined up. Hmm, interesting. So Rio suggests since the weather is great, let's go to the beach. She's like, really? Okay, great. And they continue talking and flirting back and forth. In front of Shion, Zine, 
Shion then says, enjoy yourself. And then Vivi says, oh, remember what, what museum are we going to tomorrow? He says, no, don't worry about it. I, I'm not telling. It's a surprise. And Vivi's like, ooh, okay, Shion. All right, Shion. Get them, Shion. Anyways, these two go to the beach. When they arrive, there's a wedding chapel in the background. And Vivi says, oh, I think we're going the wrong way. Is that the wedding chapel? Maybe we should go over there. And Rio is like, oh, you want to get married? Okay, let's go. Uh, which was kind of fun, cute banjo. While drinking tea, with the wind blowing in their hair, she Vivi says she feels so peaceful while talking to Rio. And like, there's a real connection there. And Rio says he feels the same way. And it's really nice. And etc. etc. Right, but it seems that Vivi has a thing for guys whose names start with R. Remember, her ex boyfriend, um, his name started with R, Dio starts with R, and now Rayo. Damn it, thank god my name will start with R. <sighs> you call me Riggles the guy, Jin. <laughs> she then says she wants to see the sunset a bit closer, so they move to another position at the beach. I think it's Inoshima, and it's really nice, nice setting, almost like a movie. Rio covers her with a blanket, even though she refuses on the first time, but she accepts on the second. Ask, which is something they do in Japan a lot. You say, do you want something to drink? No, I don't. Do you want something to drink? Yes. I don't know if it's a formula. One, say no, to not seem needy. And then on the second time, you accept because they insist. I, I really don't know. It's a real thing that happens in Japan. Baby says she's so happy she could cry. And, you know, I'm like, what? What is going on here? Did I miss something? She says she wants to come back. And Rio says, well, okay, we can come back if you'll have me. Then Vivi, bam, bam, boom. Of course, it has to be you. Oh, two weeks ago, it was, it had to be Dio. But, you know, who's counting and keeping tab? Me, I am counting and keeping tabs. Boom, the next scene, Shion slips on some of Rio's cologne, which is like his older brother's thing, which I don't know if that will backfire for him because if Vivi has a good time with Shion wearing Rio's, Rio's cologne, she'd always imagine that smell and associate it with Rio. And then it will augur well for Rio and not for Shion. But maybe I'm overthinking things. Shion takes Vivi to a tea ceremony, a Japanese tea ceremony. And they wear the kimono. Uh, Vivi mixes the tea. Shion drinks the tea. Says it's delicious. The Japanese lady says, oh, it's awesome. Great job, blah, blah, blah. After that, Vivi says she really had a good time. Shion returns a favor with an English postcard from a museum. As well as giving her a book as well. So, mm, Shion making moves out here in these streets, fam. And they say, let's hang out again. Which, I guess, is the only thing you can say after having a good time. But that doesn't mean that, you know. Shion, Hannah, and Rio are talking about eating the Poke Bowl that Rio had made. And they talk briefly talk about the dates they had and they had fun with Vivi. Both had fun with Vivi. Hannah then asked Rio about Yume. And he's like, I've never really had a chance to speak to her. So, I don't know. What she's like and whatever whatever at that point she then asks hannah let's go get dinner because we haven't really had a chance to talk i say yeah that's true that's true and whatever so she is out here like rah, rah, rah. every girl pop 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 shooting shots you know what i mean Vivi then comes in and at that point hannah then reveals to them about the trip to hokkaido that yumi and shacho will go on at this point everybody's like eh whoa really great but up and the dates that it would happen now at this time rio would be in australia debuting some documentary that he was filming Cool. Hannah then asks Rio about Vivi, Vivi and how the date was. And he said, yes, it was fun. I'd like to hang out again. But you also like to go out with Hannah and have dinner and talk. Rio and Shion are talking again at the, at the table. Says he wants to you know, eat dinner with everybody at least once to get to know them. And then, you know, see how it goes from there. Yumi then comes home and brings gifts from South Korea. Shacho falls shortly after. And he says he really only cares about Yume. And Shion is making a joke like, hey, recently I know it doesn't seem like a lie or a joke. Vivi comes in and says she was just hanging out with Emika. Shacho says, hey, so how is Tupas? Everything going well with Tupas? Vivi doesn't answer the question. Now you... Little dirty girl, Emika, listen to me good. If you mess with Tupas, if what I suspect is true that you broke up with Tupas and you used him to get back some brownie points before leaving Teresos after you go on like one little, 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 listen to me, you know. Dotty Emika, no. Hey, Tupas, that's okay. Emika did you so wrong. You can find a better girl in all of Japan. And they're telling you that she was so dirty. Dotty Emika, oh. Dotty Emika, no. Tupas! <laughs> 
Tupas, please tell me you're okay. Wink, blink, comment, something. Let me know you're okay, Tupas, because we rated too much to let Emika try and tarnish your, your reputation. All right, good. Anyways, after that now, Shasha's like, oh, maybe I shouldn't ask about that. They move on and Shasha says, hey, let's go to the playroom and play Mario Brothers. I really like it. He says, sure, okay, fine. This is where the title episode makes sense. Luigi is being used by Rayo. Now, the seating arrangement in the playroom is also interesting. There is Shion, Hannah, Shacho, Vivi, Rayo, Yume. They're playing and then apparently Luigi dies and Yume and Rayo are talking and he's asking, where's your drink? Uh, having the had, you know, drinking. She says, no, I left it downstairs. And I'm kind of, kind of tipsy whatever. They're having a whole long conversation there. Shacho and Vivi are full enthralled in the game, playing and whatever. All this time, Rayo is kind of flirting and talking to Yume and he asks her, let's go have drinks sometime. And she says, sure, okay. And, you know, he says, oh God. And she says, what? And he starts to blush. He says, I'm blushing because he's embarrassed. I think he really has a crush on Yume. Then, during this time, when I thought Shacha wasn't hearing anything, Homeboy just says, I will never forgive Luigi. I will destroy him. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Was he hearing everything the whole time while focusing on the game? Oh, ooh, snap! <laughs> it's about to get spicy, but we never know when it's going to get spicy because COVID has stopped recording. Although they would have recorded already, they're not putting out anything else until this thing is done. So we, we don't know when Terrace House will be back. So yeah. That was the video guys also i might be doing a character review ranking the characters tell me if you want to see that put hashtag ranking in the comments if you want to see me ranking the terrace house members this season or do you want me to review other terrace house episodes let me know i'll see you in the next video if you want me to review anything let me know and if i get enough response then i'll do it all right because guys it's a youtuber